This is Brickhead Boy Toy Reviews. Here I have an Armor Brick Kit, the T-72B Main Battle Tank. This set contains 762 pieces and serial number 318. Difficulty, 4 out of 5 from Russia. And here is the back of the box. Just a little information on the tank itself and a few pictures of the kit. The contents taken out, you have your instruction book. Six bags, including the track link. And then I didn't know there was a DSHK machine gun as well from Brick Arms included. That's pretty cool. Let's build it. And here's a T-72B kit complete. There's your tank, your instruction book. And these are extra pieces. I guess they're just not supposed to be with the kit, but they're extra. And of course, you always get extra track link. I have eight, plus your tripod for the brake armor's machine gun and these two pieces for the tires. When you build the tires, you need these or the wheels. So starting with the instruction book, there's your illustration. And then the front first page is just like the back of the box. It has the same information on the T-72. The booklet itself is easy to follow. And here's the iconic T-72. You can tell what it is uh, by this build. Very good armor brick. Very good um, building techniques as well. I like the... Uh, Profile, just like the real thing, very um, sleek and just low profile. So here it is. You can see the back has uh, some fuel drums. And I like the side skirts. You have what appears to be armor on that, or if that's reactive armor, not sure, but it looks nice. You have a couple headlights in front and going around. It just looks cool all around. You have your machine gun here, the Brick Arms machine gun, and smoke dispensers on top here. One thing to note is, at first, these builds here were a little bit frustrating, but I figured out that you just have to put one piece first, and then the bottom piece last, instead of putting them together, and then to the uh, flex tube. So much easier, the way I mentioned. So back to the detail, you have a light and front and not sure what this is comes a lot with t-72s you have an antenna and your barrel is pretty long and it can go up and depress downwards and let's see if the turret rotates yes it does 
Let's put it to the test. Let's see if this tank can roll. And yes, it rolls really smooth. Let's open up the uh, hatches here and you have one that's not too deep. And if you do use it, you have to put a minifig sideways, kind of a bummer. Let's try the other one here and put this down and move the hatch up. So you can see you can sit a minifig in, but apparently it is not too deep. Which brings me to the minifig. I do have a United Bricks minifig, which does not come with the set. I got it as uh, separately. So let's check it out and put it in the tank. So there you go. It looks all right. He looks kind of uh, too high up. So let's compare this with a different T72. Here we have a Brickmania T72A and on this side Armor Brick T72B. So even though there are different variants of a T72, the Armor Brick one, uh, the tracks roll a lot smoother, whereas the Brick Mania one has a difficult time moving, and it's also more fragile than the Armor Brick one. However, the Brick Mania one does come with a minifigure and printed pieces, whereas the Armor Brick one, no minifig and no stickers or printed pieces. I thought the Brick Mania one was a low profile tank, but the armor brick one is actually one plate shorter, so it makes it even more lower profile, uh, which is really cool. However, the armor brick one is a tad bit shorter, like a couple studs, so not sure which is more accurate for a 135 scale, but they're both cool. One last thing before I conclude my review, the armor brick one costs $50 less than Brick Mania, but of course Brick Mania has the printed pieces and minifig. The older version of this Armor Brick T72 was actually $20 cheaper, so that it was even more of a better deal. But the price between the two, uh, $50, um, I say Armor Brick wins slightly on this one because you could still get printed pieces and a minifig less than 50 to add to this awesome kit anyways let's conclude this review now for armor brick kit this is reasonably priced not the best it's a cool looking tank but of course there's better ones like the challenger 2 or merkava which of course costs a little bit more but nonetheless for the price you pay on this tank very cool all you got to do is just add minifigure and maybe a sticker or so and it's complete. This brick had boy. Thanks for watching.